Have you heard the claim that we're in the midst of a climate crisis? How about that there's a scientific consensus regarding climate science? For years, the corporate media, activist celebrities, and power-hungry politicians have attempted to silence any rebuttal to the climate catastrophe narrative by claiming 97% of all climate scientists believe climate change is primarily anthropogenic and catastrophic. Some 97% of scientists have concluded that climate change is real, it is caused by human activity, and it is already causing devastating problems in our country and around the world. This claim has never been true, but now it's quantifiably false. In tandem with the Fairleigh Dickinson University poll, we anonymously surveyed 400 meteorologists and climatologists to see if the 97% claim stands up to inspection. Here's what we found. To start, 97% of scientists don't think climate change is primarily anthropogenic, nor is it catastrophic. 59% of those surveyed said that climate change will cause significant harm, not 97%. The interesting aspect is that participants under the age of 30 indicated climate change would cause significant harm at a far higher rate than those aged 50 and over. Essentially, the more experience someone has in the fields related to the Earth's climate, the less they worry about a climate catastrophe. The politicization of America's public education system could very well be the source of this massive discrepancy. But this response highlights more than the fallacy that there's a scientific consensus. It obfuscates political reliance on science that clearly requires further discussion. Here are the facts. Global carbon dioxide concentrations have increased in the 21st century. Due to higher CO2 concentrations, crop production is increasing year after year across the globe in rich and poor nations alike, regardless of wealth and technological advancements. Extreme weather events are not becoming more frequent or severe. And, most importantly, climate-related deaths have decreased more than 13,000% since 1920. Data simply does not support the end-is-near position on climate change. So why are some still saying climate change will cause catastrophic harm? There's no simple answer. The U.S. government provides much of the funding behind climate science. Saying climate change is a problem the government must solve greatly increases a scientist's odds of being funded. And we are not disagreeing with the claim that there can be negative effects to a changing climate. Rarely is any issue truly black and white. The real debate comes down to weighing these effects against the benefits we're experiencing. So no, there is not a consensus. We don't need to censor people who want to debate policies aimed at curbing CO2 emissions. Differing viewpoints being put under scrutiny is the basis of scientific research. And allowing scientific discourse is the only way that society can be confident the course of action we take is based on sound reasoning, not political will.